Hello everybody and welcome back to Little Inferno. We are the greatest hidden object players in the world. My name is Michael. I'm Amanda. And we're not playing a hidden object game. We are back for the holidays enjoying the new DLC for Little Inferno. And we are starting a new Ho 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 game. <laughs> welcome back. Okay, there are tiny little marching elves inside the fireplace and we got some lights. I'll save you. I'll save you. Where, you, where are you going to put him? I can't put him outside of the... I can't put him outside of the fireplace. You can't save him. I can't save him, especially since that one walked right into the fire. What is the it, hell? Is it fireproof or... Uh... Is it? No, I think I think it's on fire. I mean, it looks like it's burning. It is no longer walking. All right. Well, so this is the first bit of new content for this game in what a decade yeah and uh we just uh raced through a replay of the original game you can find that on our youtube channel should you be interested honestly you should just play it yourself it's not a tough game it's a lot of fun you just burn stuff congratulations on the legitimate purchase of your brand new little inferno entertainment fireplace we've lovingly crafted each fireplace to warm your home and your heart Stay warm in there. Mmm, wee. And Merry Christmas. Love, Miss Nancy. Thank you, Miss Nancy. I believe that is the exact same letter that started the original game, except they've added Merry Christmas. So far, money well spent on the DLC. <laughs> we'll 10 see. out of 10, no notes. I mean, there's the Christmas lights. I can, yeah, there's one living elf. We'll see how long they can hang in there. <laughs> I'll try to keep all the fire on this side. Is it just me or are some of those terms and conditions redacted? They are. They were that's, in the original game, too. That's just a little concerning is all. Nah, it's fine. Don't you trust Miss Nancy? Hmm. Having played the entire first game, I'm a little wary. Oh. She was nice. All she said was, like, dream bigger. How could you fault inspirational messaging like that? I hate dreaming bigger. I think maybe we have to destroy this other elf. Yeah, this game is not going to start until you have committed enough elf murder, apparently. Oh, this game sorry. requires a clear chimney. I'm sorry, little guy. I'm going to feel really bad if we didn't... Oh. Nope, that was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Nobody gets through this game with clean hands. Goodness. Have you already burned all your things? That's okay. Is it? You can always buy more with your brand new catalog. Love, Miss Nancy. Chimney Stuffer. Do, do they make you play through the entire game again? I don't know when the DLC stuff gets added in. Is it mixed in in between as we go through? Or is it the entire game with a new catalog? We are going to feel very silly if you play the entire game to get to the new catalog, because we just played the entire game over again. Like fools. Like fools. We had fun. We enjoyed <laughs> ourselves. It was awful. I know, but like, if you have to play the entire thing again, are you going to have fun doing it all a second time just to be able to get to the new stuff? Oh, God, I hope so. <laughs> oh, I hope there's fun ahead. I hope there's a single scrap of joy that my shrunken heart can pull from this experience these are the oh yeah there's these some are... new uh new ones mixed in i guess see the little uh snowflake on some of them yeah but i don't know that's just not what i was expecting i would not have played these pirate in a pear tree seems to indicate that uh once we get that pirate doll we're gonna also see a new christmas pear tree somewhere in the future catalogs so I think, yes, they have probably sprinkled it in here and there. I feel like a fool. You mess with me, Miss Nancy. I don't know if I can forgive you for this. Oh, you're doing so great. But don't worry. Your little inferno is not like other games. There are no points. There is no score. You are not being timed. Just make a nice fire and stay warm in the glow of your high-definition entertainment product. But you can't do that forever. There is bound to be an end. Stay warm, Miss Nancy. 
Yeah, I remember that letter from the base game. This is just gonna be the game again with some extra stuff added in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I think of that. To the idiots at Tomorrow Corporation. Ho ho, humbug! I would like to file a complaint. Um, okay? Christmas is dumb, and so is Little Inferno. Make a game with hammers in it. I want to throw the hammers, and then also there would be a bazooka. I have a lot of skills, and that's the kind of game I want. Merry dumb Christmas. Hamburg! I mean, humbug. 8-bit night! P.S. I don't want this dumb Christmas catalog. Well, why'd they send it to us? Naughty and nice. Get some nice music going. Yeah. Finally, someone has got the guts to stick it to gamers. <laughs> They've had it too easy for too long. <laughs> That's right, nerds. These game developers can see who you really are. And right. so can we. We're Ging not one of you. Gingerbread disaster. You tried your best. That's pretty great. Balls of tape, now with permanent adhesive. Keep away from tender areas. You can see people stuck to them. And here's the pear tree. The Damn. original Christmas subscription service. So, hmm. He seems to have a Christmas tree for an arm. Well, you tried. You tried your best and that's what counts. All and the tape, huh? Yeah, and it they sticks to them. stick to things. Could you have stuck it to the side of the chimney wall, you suppose? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, apparently so. Look at that. All right. Let's open things up so we can get to the pirate. Yeah, it's oh. such a soft spot for the music that plays during the catalog. <laughs> It's actually different, I think. Yep, I do think they maybe got some new music. Okay, you should destroy that last letter for me. That was meant for Tomorrow Corporation, and not for you! I was wondering. You are in violation of federal mail regulations if you read it. Here is a grenade. You can use this to eradicate evidence of our correspondence. <laughs> Humbug! Okay, later, Spawn Camper. That's gamer slang. 8 bit Nate! I can't believe they would accuse us of spawn camping. I would never. Unless it gave me an in game advantage. <laughs> Doesn't it always give you? Yes. Okay. It is unsportsmanlike conduct. For those of you who have never played a competitive video game that includes a spawning area, a spawn camper is someone who sets up outside where their opponents are going to join the game to destroy them as soon as they join the game area. Before they are effectively ready to play, even though they are technically within the gaming area. Oh look! Pear tree sings. That's cute. For a while. And, and then it screams. Oh, and they also spit out uh, the five golden rings. Neat. We're rich. <laughs> We're getting there. Oh, sorry, I got too excited. What do you think we should burn with the grenade, though? Uh, maybe nothing. Let's save it for the end of the game and we'll leave it at the Tomorrow Corporation. <laughs> As 8-Bit Nate originally desired. Wait, yeah. no, he gave that to us to destroy our correspondence. Yeah, he wanted us to blow up the letter. He apparently was not aware that we can burn all correspondence and had already done so. Probably because we have not written back to 8-Bit Nate. And we won't. Still can't build with these very easy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna do it this time. Woo! There you go. And it'll contain all the flowers within this little hutch. Perfect. 
I don't really know anyone here. I mean, in this dumb town. Do you? I'm probably way too cool to be talking to you. But, you can be my friend if you want. I'm pretty much an elite hackers. Six bit night! I mean, eight bit night! Night! <laughs> so, this is the replacement for our sugar lumps, huh? Uh huh. Delightful. We have definitely traded up. Wait, what? <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? You are getting a lot of letters. That's okay. I'll find another pen pal this winter. Ha <laughs> ha, shh! But I bet we could have been really good friends. Maybe if we are here again in exactly this place at exactly this time, we'll be like two bugs in a hug in a mug. Smooch! Love sugar plums. So um, that was Sugar Plumps officially signing off <laughs> for the DLC version of the game. She gave us pink logs, though, which she wanted for herself in the first game, base game. Yep, turns the fire pink. That's cute. Very cool. Ah, oh, there's all these combos we've already done. Like someone else's credit card and someone else's family portrait is a combo. Are we are we really gonna redo all that stuff? I mean we're gonna have to to some degree to get through it. Um because we'll need stamps to open up the packages and you get com stamps by doing combos. There aren't right. going to be enough combos in the new content to give us enough stamps to do the new content, I don't think. You ever feel like instead of uh, signing up for something entertaining, you've actually given yourself a job? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We Can may we look at the Christmas catalog. Yeah. Anything unlockable there? No. Not yet. Oh, do you suppose, ah, uh, yes, that they unlock with each catalog? Yep. I guess because they made such tight use of the page with the original catalogs, they can't actually squeeze Christmas stuff in here. There's yeah. not really room for it. Gonna Say cheese. Do a picture of us. There we are. Nice. That's Looks us. Just like us. Yep. Staring into the fire. Oh, and there go all the little. Yep. All the little jumpy bugs. There's those creepy arms in the school bus, which we then <laughs> later recognized at the Tomorrow Corporation. Oh, that's right. That's where we knew it from. Mm -hmm. Whoa, kicked in the slow motion there for a while. Whoa! I know how to get free stuff! Why use money when everything can be free? Do you want to see? Are you cool enough? Okay, behold! Attached to this letter is a block. One single block. Or is it? I found an exploit and under buffer abracadabra. Now you have unlimited of it. Hey, hey, hey. Profanity block? Huh. Uh, what's that going to do for us, do you think? Now oh, this is a combo, so we might as well burn it together. You blew fast. Yeah, yep. There you go. We doubled the stamps spent on it. Hooray! Alright. Uh, should I just go ahead and burn this? Yeah, why not? I doubt there's going to be a combo that involves it, right? At least it was an exploit. See, <laughs> we get a lot more. Uh, 
that's cute. Oh, oh, that nice sound. That nice, nice air rushing sound. If I remember correctly, the official term for those random punctuation characters used to replace profanity is Grawlix. That's right, G-R-A-W-L-I-X. Uh, what on earth? Weird. This is some of our own pictures, because I, I know that one. I believe we came across that last time we played. Yeah. And then we decided not to share our pictures. Yeah. Well, because of all the horrors we have collected <laughs> over the years. That one's just a picture for a RPG character that I've created that I got off of Unsplash. Shout out to Unsplash. Yeah, where we get all of our stock photography, mostly, most of it anyway. Alright, so... There that anyway, goes. there it goes. Oh no! Was that you, last night? Outside my window? There was someone where there shouldn't be someone. Um... Can you send me a camera? I thought you were supposed to be writing to the Tomorrow Corporation. Why don't you ask them for a camera? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's our Sorry, little Nana. inferno. Mm -hmm. How is it broadcasting? I'm sure I don't know. Is there a camera in our eyes? So we send him the camera. Uh huh. Boom. Sent. And we burn the thing. And then we move right along uh, and we don't quite have enough money. Maybe when this explodes. Yeah. Maybe not. Breaking weather report! It's gonna be another cold one, folks. The snow's been coming down faster and faster. Every day colder than the last. That can't last forever. <laughs> Build a nice cozy fire and stay warm inside, folks. <laughs> Reporting from the weather balloon, over the smokestacks, over the city, the weatherman. Well, what do you know? They didn't replace him with any holiday DLC. Weatherman's mm. still the weatherman. Above the smokestacks, over the city. We're poor for everything now. We are poor as heck. Hey, face, why don't you give us some stuff? That serene face does not seem interested in giving us stuff. Man, we should have made popcorn. Oh, that's true. I would love some popcorn, actually. Alright. Oh, and there's more stuff here, which we can't afford. Sure, right. we're going to unlock some more stuff in the Christmas catalog with every in-game catalog we open. Which is going to take a while. Yeah. What we could do is pause the recording and work our way through all the basic catalogs but leave the Christmas stuff. It We're going to be getting these letters all the way through, though. Right. We would we would hate for everyone else not to see all the 8-bit Nate comments because <laughs> that's everybody's favorite new character. <laughs> oh, you've already found my second catalog. Did you know... Your Little Inferno comes with a free instructional video. Love, Miss Nancy. Yeah, we know. We've seen it. Thank you, though. See, they thought that you wouldn't have played the base game for ten years, so you would love revisiting all this stuff again. Not realizing that we replayed the base game, thinking that we were going to be getting a whole new thing. You know what's super dumb? Christmas. 
Ho ho humbug. Nobody ever gets me anything. If I want something, I have to get it myself. Um... Thank you for the camera you sent. Haha, <laughs> hypocrisy! Eat it, 8-bit Nate. Here is my <laughs> selfie. Attached! Photo of someone. That, that sure looks like 8-bit Nate. <laughs> yeah, that bunny has not gotten any easier to take. Nope. In case you're wondering, you cannot grow immune to Little Inferno. Some of these things are going to hurt every time. Like that goofus of a bear. I like the bear. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounds like. I hope he knows that. All right, are there any combos for this grenade? There's not, right? Probably not. We should just burn it. I'm just gonna burn the. I'm just gonna burn the grenade. I'm gonna burn it on its own so we can see what it does, if anything. It explodes into holly. Gigantic holly explosion. That's cute. Well, now I guess we're never going to commit an act of domestic terrorism against the Tomorrow Corporation. <laughs> where we sneak a grenade into their downtown offices. Yeah, sorry if that was on your planner a bit. It was on my bucket list. Alright, so springtime generations. Someone else's. I thought yep. we did the someone else's, didn't we? Certainly tried. Huh. Maybe it didn't burn at quite the right time. Maybe not. Mm. You might think, do you really have enough things on a wish list to fill a bucket? And therefore need to create a bucket list? But here's the thing. Had the bucket already. Didn't quite have enough hopes and dreams. It's a big, empty bucket. With one little list at the bottom. Remember what the generations was? Because it was this and something else. Was it the pictures? I don't think so. So many blocks in this set. So what do you want for Christmas this year? Uh, I want a sleep mask. And that's why I bought myself one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Too slow, Santa. What kind of a sleep mask is it? It's the cat. What? What kinds are there? There's uh, there's little uh, ones that have kind of an embroidered border, like you see in movies from the 1950s, and then there are uh, ones that are actually just plastic bags that tell you, "Do not put this over your head." Not a toy. Uh, and then there's uh. There's ski masks that you could try and sleep in when you wake up with a big sweaty head. There's Zorro masks. Technically, you could sleep in them. And it keeps the uh, the Spaniards who run the, govern in, the government in what will one day become California from knowing that you are a freedom fighter who carves a Z to mark where you've been. Oh no! They're back! There's someone outside my house! In the alley! They aren't moving. Just standing there. I can't see a face. But I can tell. It's looking at me. I know you don't believe me. Wait. It's... Here is a photo. Uh, is that a the frame of a guillotine? 8-Bit Nate, are you a billionaire? If so, I heartily agree with whatever they're planning out there in the alley. 
Look closely. I'm, I'm looking. What am I looking for? Uh, I think that's supposed to be Santa Claus. That's the white fur of the hat. That's a nose. Those are eyes. Why would Santa be standing outside Ape at Nate's place? Because he's a Scrooge and that's what happens to those guys. Oh. Sorry, Ape at Nate. You're probably going to be dragged into the past and then other places in the present and then you'll see your own grave in the future. It's it's going to be a rough night for you, Ape at Nate. Wow. Uh, I seem to remember that the dragon or whatever he is is in a combo with the fire breathing torch. Uh huh. Hey, the fireflies were in the first catalog in the base game. What? Yeah, don't you remember? They were, yeah, they were different. It was different. Alright, let's put these guys together. Yep, fire breather combo. So in the base game, to end the game, you had to burn together all the things that you sent to your neighbor's sugar plumps throughout the course of the game. Yeah, so we got to remember the list this time? So we got to remember this time that we sent a camera to that guy and there's going to be other stuff that we'll send to him that we'll need to burn together to end the game, presumably. We're going to let this Nate guy sponge off us for the rest of the game? What is Nate bringing to the table? I guess enter entertainment? Hard pass. <laughs> I'm not here to be entertained. I'm here to burn <laughs> things. Oh, look at it go. Yeah. It's like a sun getting sucked into a black hole. One of my favorite things in the game to burn. <laughs> I like the little song that you get to hear. Yeah, it's, it's fun, and you get to see pretty flower petals. And you get to hear applause for her. It's nice to hear that she's appreciated. Which is when the roses get thrown. Uh-huh. Alright, here's one of the worst things to burn. Yeah. Um... Got them all so far. It's just a matter of. Oh boy. See, we need these stamps, man. Oh, this guy. Oh, I forgot about the rotting everything it touches. Yep. He's gross. And now we cleanse this earth. <laughs> it's the only way to be sure. Wait, it rotted. It did. Oh, it rotted before I could blow everything up! Oh no! You win this round, Leprechaun. Oh, he's the worst. It's closer tonight. That person outside. Just standing there. Is this part of the game? Hello? Who are you? And why am I writing down things that I'm saying out loud? <laughs> He's Ape just Nate, shh. following in the August tradition of sugar plumps. You Takes also, me right out. <laughs> you also wrote a. Do not write me a letter where you write down the things you said out loud in real time, in your place. That's not how letters work. <laughs> it could be. It's a different medium of communication with different goals. Ah, uh, we need. Eight more coins to get the moon. The only time that that sort of thing is acceptable is if you are a scientist in some sort of a sci-fi setting who's being hunted by an alien or a mutant or something that's been unleashed and you are writing down something about how the passcode is somewhere <laughs> and you don't know how much longer you have and oh no, they're pounding on the door and now they're and then you cut off mid-sentence. That is the only cliched, non-actual communication method that I can countenance even for a second. 
You are excluding so much Lovecraft with that requirement. I'll exclude the hell out of him. <laughs> that big nerd. <laughs> so <many>. Squid kissing nerd. <laughs> he was the opposite of a squid kisser. He hated all that stuff. That's what he said. <laughs> Those girls are icky guys. You just can't stop thinking about it. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm saying he's got a squid girlfriend. <laughs> Breaking weather report. The forecast says thick snow clouds are rolling in from all directions. We're in for something. Big! Stay warm inside, folks. <laughs> Reporting from the weather balloon. Over the smokestacks, over the city, the weatherman. It's snowing, huh? Pretty hard job you got there, weatherman. <laughs> we gotta burn some little things to get more money. Yep. Line them up, Joe. And this, everybody, is how the economy works. <laughs> Ronald Reagan was right. <laughs> it all trickles down. Yep. Light everything on fire, and eventually things work out. Unless you're an air traffic controller. <laughs> Look it up! <laughs> Movie cowboy scum. We're not gonna relitigate the Reagan administration. We got a game to play. We got time. <laughs> so much stuff to burn. <laughs> We've seen it before. Alright. How much did we need? Did we just need a hundred coins? Yeah. So All we're right. gonna have eleven left over when we buy this. Well, that's enough for a spoon. Great! The spoon's gonna take a while. Alright, spoon, give us some cash. You too, little spider thing. Letter incoming. Ooh, is your fireplace keeping you warm? Do you know what's even cozier than a crackling fire? A hug! going. Yep. Attached is a coupon for one free hug. You might need it one day. I doubt it. Love, Miss Nancy. You can keep it, Miss Nancy. What I need is cold hard cash. And I only get that from burning things. <laughs> we are going to let the hug coupon go this time because we know what you get if you keep it and it's a horrifying hug at the end of the game. All right, marshmallows, sausages, and we're pouring it in. Get pour so fast. Well, we'll, we'll mount it back up again. Oops. <laughs> Buy it. Right. I think you're right. They did change that music. Lights, wrapping paper, bells, bar har har harm bug. Where are the bells even coming from? There aren't even any churches or clock towers around here. I can see. Oh no. That thing. The thing in the alley. It's closer. I still can't see a face. Could you? But I know it could see me. A bit eight. Is he Lovecraft? This it, is sounding mighty It wears attractive. a mask. <laughs> Take off that mask. No mask. No mask. That's Robert Chambers. That's not Lovecraft. Robert Chambers wrote the King in Yellow stuff. It's better than anything out of Lovecraft. We're just saying it now. Look it up. <laughs> We're not going to relitigate Robert Chambers versus Lovecraft. <laughs> Did we ever, ever litigate it in the first place? There was some, there was some gating. Reindeer dust. Made from the driest reindeer. 
There's... A damp reindeer is a terrible thing to behold. Alright, we're gonna mess with this tape some more, because we can afford it. <laughs> it's funny. If we stick the tape to the wall, can we get something suspended? I'm... Yeah, I thought I might try that out. So, if it just comes... You just gotta wait. Alright, so... Just gotta be patient. Stick it to the wall, and then we'll stick this, uh... Stocking to it. We'll stick the stocking to it. Yeah, look at that. Did it work? Stick it to the wall here. It's trying to kick. <laughs> here, I'll stick this, uh... There you go. Nice. Cool. <laughs> uh... Huh. What? The DLC that we paid for is full of scatological humor. <laughs> I mean, jelly beans came out of the reindeer. That's not really scatological. That's just cute. If you say so, but I recommend checking the name of the reindeer again the next time you got the catalog opened up. Oh. Okay, you got me there. Bluetooth-enabled smart dreidel. I made it out of thermoplastic polyurethane. Swiss Army. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly set of AI controlled knives for Christmas this year. I would watch that movie. That's a. You think that's a, what movie? AI controlled knife movie? Yeah. You get a killer robot on Christmas? That's Chopping Mall. Is Chopping Mall a Christmas movie? Uh, okay. I guess. I guess I don't know if it's a Christmas movie. I don't think it happens over Christmas. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Ooh. Orchestra tuning up. Right, because the Nutcracker's a ballet. There, and now he's he's stuck up there, so he'll be safe from the AI mic when it starts to inevitably... Starts trying to murder? Yeah, trying to murder. Is it also trying to clean? Is that what those bubbles are? <laughs> oh, no, there is a, a little bubble. Uh, oh, there's poop. a bubble wand, yeah. Yeah. In, in amongst all of the tools. It really can do everything. Except turn around. <laughs> oh. His bottom half fell off. Uh-huh. Is what? that him? Are those, he um, that? What is coming off of him and exploding? Nut nuts. Exploding nuts? Yeah, I think. I think that's uh, like, you know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire kind of nuts. That's bananas. Alright, so let's see what kind of holiday combos we can make. We've got a Santa's Pals. Alright, so the the suicide elf and something else. And uh -huh. the reindeer probably. Yeah, that makes sense. And then singers might be the nutcracker and the opera singer. The nutcracker didn't really sing though. No, it's the pears. The pears sang at the oh, end of their Oh, you're right. They did. All right. So, and then you. Oh, can't afford him. Oh, we'll Dry see reindeer. <laughs> wow, powdery. It huh. went just like that. Yep. Did these come with the with the powdered reindeer? Uh I guess they must have, right? Do we have enough money to get I guess we can do it after these two. To get the pals. There you go, singers. You were right. I'm harmonizing. Up until the screaming starts. <laughs> oh look, it's a partridge. A partridge. Yep. I suppose the sound when you click on the golden rings is like a sonic joke. Probably. Alright. What other holiday combos? Ginger ginger? What do you suppose that is? Gingerbread and a redhead from somewhere? That's a good point. He's redheaded. Yep. Alright. Let's try that. 
Just gotta keep them away from each other. <laughs> right. Or he'll rot it before it has a chance to burn. Save his pals. Did the leg burn or? Ginger, yep. ginger. I guess it all burned, so it's a moot question. <laughs> Don't need to know. Poo pals. Obvious. Okay, that's the cat and the cat reindeer. and the reindeer. Twelve days of Hanukkah. The uh, both Christmas. Mm. So the dreidel and the something. Drama club. Drama club. Now drama club one. might be the opera singer and the nutcracker. That could be. I feel like there's got to be something with those two together. And then what was the other one we were thinking? The poo pals is easy. Right. This is gonna be the cat. Cat and the reindeer. And the reindeer. And now we wait. Mm, Heard any good jokes recently? This is why we did, got the stamps from doing other combos that to we already spare know. us from small talk. <laughs> sure enough. Why do the nuts explode? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Can't open, yeah, we can't open that up until we get the next catalog out. So we gotta work our way through this one. Yep. That was the old music. Yes, it was. I don't know if it's switching off or what. Magnetic heart. Okay, we know that one. It's just the magnet, the heart shaped one. Terrible teeth is easy. Right. Alright, I'll just uh, throw this stuff in. Boy, now it's all gonna be hard to hard to burn because of the ice. Yep. Tonight I looked out the window and I saw whatever was in the alley every night. It's gone! Yeah, I probably scared it away. No one messes with 8 bit and 8. So much character development we're getting. Was that four or five updates in a row that something is outside your window? <laughs> Speed it up, Nate. <laughs> Alright, so terrible teeth is this guy and this guy. The magnetic heart is this heart. And, and the magnet. And the magnet. Boom! Mm. Terrible teeth has cereal, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but that's a different thing. Oh. I believe. Are you sure that the leprechaun is part of the teeth combo? I thought so, because it was a combo that only opens up when you've got that second one and not the third one. Oh, fair. Nyang, 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 nyang. Yep, you're right. I remembered right. There are so many terrible teeth, it's easy <laughs> to get confused. Alright. Magnetic hearts. Yang, 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 yang. <laughs> Makes you think. Alright, what else we got? Time bomb. Lol kitty. We remember those. Do we? Uh, time. Uh huh. Bomb. I think I'm following. Kitty. Yeah. Lol. Uh huh. <laughs>
The great thing is that the achievements that were based on internet jokes from a decade ago have not been updated at all. <laughs> Look it up! It's going to be my new catchphrase, I think. Uh-huh. It's thrilling. Everybody loves it. It kind of fits with 8-Bit Nate being the new, uh, the new flagship character for the DLC. Yep. Twelve days of Hanukkah. Sweet screams. This is just to open stuff up. Mm -hmm. But uh, all right, twelve days of Hanukkah could be obviously it's the dreidel, but then what else? Maybe something we haven't seen yet? It can't be because it's available now. It's available already. So it's got to be within this bunch of stuff. It's probably the killer robot. <laughs> Maybe it's the pear tree? No, because that's the 12 days of Christmas. That's nothing Hanukkah related. Hmm. Oh wait, how many days are of is Hanukkah? Uh, Isn't it also twelve days? Is that the joke? I probably should know. <laughs> I don't know either. Look it up. <laughs> I don't think the catchphrase works when it's something that we don't know. Days of Hanukkah? Uh, let's just burn it with a few things and see. <laughs> Look, you throw enough things in there, you can't miss. <laughs> Tree. Oh, there we go. That was right. Eight days. Okay, so 12 days of Hanukkah was just your clue that it was the 12 days of Christmas thing that you needed to add to it. Weird, but okay. Not sure I followed the logic, but whatever. We got <laughs> stamps. It was just 12 days to let you know you needed the 12 days of Christmas thing to combine with it. Right. It's a weird one. It is a weird one. That's an incomplete sentence, Nate. Whenever I walk up my stairs, the steps creak. That's okay, it's an old house. But tonight, I'm in my bedroom, with the door closed. And I live alone. So, why are the stairs creaking? It sounds like someone is coming. Step. Step. Creak. Up, up, up. Well, let us know if you get murdered, Nate. And uh, nothing until then. <laughs> I did not notice that that guy said hey <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty great Hey yourself Shh Thump Thump Creak Can you hear it when I write it out? <laughs> I turned on the audio recording feature. Yeah, of course I can do that. 
It's coming down the hallway. Towards my room! Hello? Should I do something? This isn't a normal part of the game, right? A bit neat. Sad face. <laughs> Tell my parents to clear my hard drive without looking at anything. <laughs> Blast my cash. <laughs> Please wave a magnet over everything. <laughs> And do not allow a single black light to enter my bedroom. Oh my god. <laughs> so these together were something I recall. Eggs and eggs. Egg sex. Egg sex combo. It stopped. The footsteps stopped. In front of my door. I hope I locked it. No! No, 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 no! Picture changed. Thanks for having the clarity of mind to take a selfie, Nate. We enjoyed imagining the details of your murder. Your last moments. Can't wait to hear more or get an autopsy report. You know he's just having his tiny Tim moment across town. It's oh, fine. sure. So this is going to be the freaked out food combo. Get these lined up. Yep. Yep. You can hear it freaking out, which is a nice way of saying it's burning to death and aware of it. <laughs> Look, I'm just playing the game. <laughs> playing the game as it's this, meant to be played. This game is making us into monsters! <laughs> Alright, Nate, tell us you've been murdered. It's here! This is it! It's the end of 8-bit, Nate. I'm too scared to turn around. No, 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 no! Ah! Thanks for the update. Thanks for writing that down. Or having some audio transcription set up for us, I guess. Yeah, Alexa sent that to us. You ready to, you ready to read the next part of his saga? Sure. <laughs> this has got to be the end. Oh, it's not even in. Breaking weather report. Forecast says... Whoo-wee! Smokey with... <laughs> Smokey with a chance of... Thick... <laughs> Nasal discharge. <laughs> oh. Chimney smoke and smokestacks as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Reporting from the weather balloon over the smokestacks over the city. The weatherman. <laughs> you don't have to steer over the chimneys, my dude. <laughs> Honestly, you could stay in the studio and tell us it's snowing. Because <laughs> it's snowing. I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of corn to sure. make money because otherwise we're going to end up buying the next catalog and having no money. It's the American way. Just put corn in everything. <laughs> Look it up! If I don't say it enough times, people aren't going to buy the t-shirt. <laughs> the look it up t-shirt yep. you're going to market? Our merch line. Oh, oh, boy. Well, you get one video over 100 hits and you're ready to go to merch. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's all just Russian bots. Nobody's watching these things. Oh, I know. 
Dosvidanya to our viewers in Russia. <laughs> Quote viewers, unquote. Please don't take it personal that we burned a killer robot <laughs> in our little inferno. Crush down all of the ashes. All right, now we've got some money set up. Set up. Lots of cash. Yep. However that works. Okay, you got a hundred to get started here. And some new Christmas stuff is unlocked. Yay! Can't wait, except I have to wait, because I have to wait for this stuff to get out of the way. How much does it cost to extend the desk? Oh, not Just much. Just 30 for one more. <laughs> Great, now we and get Nate's to get the ladder. Fill it. <laughs> Damn it, Nate, we didn't spend money for you. <laughs> Hello! Are you still there? Am I still here? It's morning. I think I fell asleep. I... I found a... A Christmas card here. Um, what? Yep. It's covered in dust. Pfft. The card says... Happy Ho Ho Holidays. There will be... Danger. Um, what? Before Christmas Day, you will meet three strangers. That's it. There's nothing else here. That, um, that doesn't sound good. Is this part of the game? Please leave me alone. Hey, bit Nate. I thought we were kidding when he said he was going to get Scrooge. No, of course he was going to. We knew it from the jump. <laughs> There was no way he wasn't going to get Scrooged. Alright, let's see what we've got in the Christmas. We paid big DLC money to get Dickens shoved down our throat again. <laughs> that old Christmas trap. No Alright, so we've got a UFO and um, what is this? Ho Ho Holiday Fun Starters. Cause puncture wounds, apparently. UFO. I'm looking forward to seeing the UFO. UFOs are cool. Alright, so... Plate of Cookie? Plate of Cookie. Tooth Blue. There's a Bluetooth dreidel. That's right. And... Oh! And the Tooth Cereal. Sure. I have to burn some stuff first. Uh, okay. Radiation symbol on that one. <laughs> cool. A little nuke cleared everything out. All right. Let's Ooh, see look what at the that. UFO does. Do you think? Wait, 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 wait. Do you think if you put something underneath it, it would suck it up? Yeah, let's try it. Um, Marshmallows. Sure. Do the thing. Kind of a UFO. <gasps> it did it! It did it! Wow! <laughs> this toy is amazing. <laughs> I take back everything I said about paying money for being dickensed. <laughs> it was worth it for the UFO toy. Oh, man. Alright, so we need the tooth cereal. And then, uh, we'll also drop one with that breath corn flakes combo. Right. <laughs> so this thing's gonna make it to the end of the game, right? <laughs> We're just gonna keep it We're over gonna here? gonna keep the UFO safe. You know, we can buy more UFOs. Who told you that? The <laughs> FBI. Oh. It spat out a laser that cut the UFO in half. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was dramatic. We never even saw that the Bluetooth dreidel was 
Yeah, we burned had a it laser too, on it too fast the other times. We didn't let it do its entire grim work. What's amazing <laughs> is that the little levitation beam is hanging in there. Yeah, wow. The one piece of the UFO that levitates. <laughs> slow to burn. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Well, we should probably wrap this up for now, but uh, if you've been digging all the new Christmas stuff, let us know! Please let us know, because we played this whole game recently, <laughs> and we seem to be playing it again, and uh, if nobody cares, I don't know if we're going to stick with it on camera. So there. <laughs> we're not on camera. It's not like it's that much of an effort. There's a virtual camera that is capturing what's happening on screen. Look it up! <laughs> okay, now that he's said the catchphrase one last time, yep. we'll sign off. Thanks for joining, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye.